I have for you a story from the ocean deep. I have lots of friends from the ocean. I have octopus with his eight long legs floating by. Look at that. I have a lobster. He has to sometimes be careful he doesn't get caught in traps because he can make a tasty meal, can't he? But don't tell him. And then I have, oh, who's this coming? <gasps> Shark. Sharks aren't really that mean, are they? They're just looking out for a meal, just like you and me. Who's next though? Who's this scuttling along the beach? <gasps> it's crab. I love crabs, don't you? I love the way they've got eight legs and they go scuttling sideways along the beach. And then, high up in the sky, ah, is seagull flying by, watching out for fish to pick out the sea behind the trawler. But I'm not actually going to tell you a story about those creatures, oh no, because there is a much bigger creature in the sea, isn't there? Can you guess what it is? Oh good, turtles. Turtles are bigger, aren't they? But that's not what this story's about. What else can you think? A sunfish! Oh wow, well a sunfish would be huge, but no, that's not quite. Ah, that's right, you've got it. It's a whale. Here he is. Big old blue whale. Here he comes. Come to tell you a story. This is the story of how the whale got his barnacles. Because this whale doesn't seem to have any barnacles yet, does it? No. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Now, if you look at whales out in the ocean, a lot of them do have little barnacles stuck to them. So, this story is going to tell you how that happened. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Oh good, then I will begin. There was once a whale, a big blue whale, who was the envy of all of the creatures of the ocean. He used to leap and splash and flick his tail for the fish to swim on, jump on, like a trampoline. And he loved to have fun with his fish friends. But there comes a time in our lives where we all wish for something that we can't have maybe we shouldn't actually have. And this whale, he longed to have legs, didn't you whale? Yeah. He wanted to climb the mountains and reach the stars, walk through the forest and feel his feet in the soft grass. He was bored with the salty sea. And one day he asked his fish friends, how oh, can I get I legs? legs, he said. Well, said the fish, there are lots of creatures in the rock pool who have legs. Perhaps you should go and ask them. Oh, good idea, said the whale. And so off he went across to the rock pool. Now, at that point, the tide was in, which meant the tide was very high and covered the rock pool. And so the whale found it very easy to get right down into the rock pool. He did. And when he got down there, he went, Hello, Hello little, little creatures, creatures down there. The first thing he saw was a crab with all of his eight legs. He said, Crab, crab, how did you get those legs? Now, crab was a hermit crab. And so he replied to the whale, I don't know how I got my legs, whale, but... As a hermit crab, I can change my home. I can tell you about that. Well, a new home's no good without legs, said Whale. Hmm, said the hermit crab. Okay, I think you should go and ask Shrimp. Shrimp has lots and lots of legs. Oh, good idea, said Whale. So off Whale went to find Shrimp. And he got a bit down, further down into the rock pool and he went, Shrimp! Shrimp, how do I get lots of legs? Well, the shrimp looked up at Whale, big old Whale in the rock pool, and he said, 
I have no idea, whale. I have a lot of legs, and I can afford to lose one occasionally, but hmm, I do not know how to grow legs. But I know a creature that does. Oh, said the whale, do tell me. I know the starfish can grow extra legs. Oh, said the whale, I will go and find the starfish. And so off he went to find the starfish. Starfish! Starfish! he said. How do I grow legs? The starfish looked at the whale, all his might, his blue glory, shimmering in the salty sea. And he said, well, I don't know. I have five strong legs and if I lose one I can grow one back, but I was born with these legs. I don't actually know how to grow them. It just sort of happens. Oh, said Whale. Now I will never get legs. Well, what was Whale to do? The only thing he could do was return to the sea with his fishy friends and play with them once again. But by this time, the sea had gone out. Hadn't it, Whale? The Whale was stuck in the rock pool. Help! Help! said the whale. Well, all of the creatures of the rock pool were too, they were too small to help, apart from the little tiny barnacles on the rock just over there. We'll help you, said the barnacles. Oh, said the whale. Would you? Yes, we'll help you. We may not have legs, said the barnacles, but we have lots of tiny little muscly feet and we can push you off the rocks. We will have to get on to your back though. Okay, said the whale. And so they did. The barnacles got on to whale's back and they started to heave ho, heave ho, to push the whale off the rocks and back into the sea. They managed it. All those tiny little barnacles managed to push whale back off into the sea and whale was so pleased. Whoa, he said, leaping through the water. Thank you so much. You can get off now and go back to the rock pool. Um, we can't, said the barnacles. We're stuck and we cannot swim. Oh, said the whale. I'll tell you what, why don't you stay with me? Can we? said the barnacles. That would be brilliant. And so the barnacles stayed on the whale. And do you know what? Even though that mighty blue whale that was the envy of every creature in the sea did not get his legs, he did get lots of tiny feet. The stormy winds do blow, and the ocean waves do roll, and as poor sailor boys go sailing up top, on land lovers lie down below, 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 on land lovers lie down below. Thank you for watching How the Whale Got His Barnacles. That's an original story written and told by me, Dee Dee Storyteller. If you want to find out where I'm telling stories next, you can do so by going to my website across the bottom there. You can also connect with me on social media via Facebook, Instagram or Twitter if you're tweeting. And if you feel you could, you can support my work on Patreon and join me for a storytelling subscription to rewild yourself through story. I hope to see you there. Tiddle pip.